U.S. Surgeons Successfully Test Pig Kidney Transplant in Human Patient A pig kidney has been transplanted into a person for the first time without the recipient's immune system rejecting it right away, a potentially momentous breakthrough that could eventually help ease a critical shortage of human organs for transplant. A pig whose genes had been changed such that its tissues no longer carried a molecule known to trigger nearly immediate rejection was used in the surgery at NYU Longoni Health in New York City. According to Reuters, the recipient was a brain-dead patient with evidence of kidney failure whose family agreed to the experiment before she was to be taken off life support. The new kidney was linked to her blood vessels and kept outside her body for three days, allowing researchers access to it. The function of the transplanted kidney appeared very typical, according to the study's lead author, transplant physician Dr. Robert Montgomery. According to him, the kidney produced the volume of urine that you would anticipate from a transplanted human kidney, and there was no evidence of the vigorous, early rejection found in non-human primates when unmodified pig kidneys are transplanted. After the transplant, the recipient's elevated creatinine level, a sign of impaired kidney function, reverted to normal, according to Montgomery. Researchers have been working on the potential of utilizing animal organs for transplants for decades, but they have been stopped by the question of how to avoid quick rejection by the human body. According to Montgomery, who received a heart transplant himself, the NYU kidney transplant experiment should pave the way for studies in patients with end-stage kidney failure in the next year or two. The technique might be used as a temporary remedy for critically ill patients until a human kidney becomes available, or as a permanent graft in such studies. Because the current study only involved a single kidney transplant and the kidney was only left in place for three days, any future trials are likely to find new challenges, according to Montgomery. Before asking a family for temporary access to a brain-dead patient, the researchers met with medical ethicists, legal, and religious experts to examine the proposal, Montgomery said.